But today we are clipping the queen. Now what I could do is I could just pick the queen up like this. Basically you need to work out what hand you're working on. So I like to clip with my right hand, but you can just pick the queen up and hold her like that. That is how a lot of people do this manipulation here. So queen's moving and all you'll come in and do is just clip one of the wings like that. That is a clipped queen. She has done now one wing, really, really easy. She does not care about that. She's quite happy. But then the other method that I like to use, I'll just get her back into the shot over there. Right, there we go, she's coming in. The other method that I like to use, and I'll just try and do it on her other wing, is I'll come in from behind and I'll hold her down like that. And then I'll get the scissors in and I'll cut her from behind. Now, I'm not gonna be able to show you this on video because of the way that they're just completely balling her. So I guess you could argue that the other method is a lot easier. I will try and do it though. I'll try and, I'll try and get a frame. I'll just take that bee off there, that queen off. Just holding the queen in one hand, nice and easy. And I'm just gonna shake off another frame there and try and keep her away from some bees. Right, so I'm gonna put that queen back on this frame here. So the method that I like to use sometimes is like this. You let the queen walk towards you, you pin her down, and then you're just going in underneath and you're just clipping the wing like that. And you can see I've clipped the other wing now. The queen will walk off, she's perfectly happy. I've taken a couple of millimeters off either wing using two different methods there. If you had to ask me which one do I prefer, I would just say it all depends on kind of how the queen is reacting. If she's gonna let you pick her up like that, then go for it. But not everyone likes picking up queens like that. It can be a little bit worrying that you're gonna do something to her, but you can see though, I've just got her by her thorax there. She can fully move all the way round. And you'd come in and you'd clip the queen, put her back down there. And then the other way I would say that it's a bit easier for beginners is just to pin her down and nip the end of the wing off like that. Either way, you'll end up with a very, very happy queen bee that's not gonna go off and go swarming into your neighbor's chimp.